So for enterprises, the shocking failure rate of AI project highlights the need to rethink strategy. However, that's not necessarily going to be the good thing for the enterprises out there. I think in many cases, enterprises are surprised in the fact that they're spending more money and accelerating utilization of resources at a huge cost, by the way, and they're not getting positive results that are returning from the use of these cloud resources. So this is stop the madness. I think we're doing so many things wrong, it's ridiculous. I think enterprises need to stop, adjust, upgrade their talent, get outside advice, figure out what they're doing wrong, redirect the project, redirect the resources, and try again. So for enterprises, the shocking failure rate of AI project highlights the need to rethink strategy. Success lies in building on existing data, leveraging mature AI tools from public cloud providers effectively, and focusing on immediate outcomes rather than long-term infrastructure overhauls. But with this approach, organizations can transform the 95% failure rate into opportunities for sustained success in AI initiatives. So what's going on is we have a huge gap. We have a huge gap of the way that enterprises are building AI systems today in 2025, as I record this in you know September, and the ability to leverage these systems to gain additional value back to the business. And enterprises need to be willing to make the change. They need to understand that they have a huge problem. They need to stop relying on some of the promises of the hyperscalers out there in terms of you know spending money on AI. I think that's just gonna get you into a deeper hole. And when you're in a hole, stop digging and focus on the tactical use cases that are, gonna, that are going to bring incremental value back to the business. Don't do these big moonshots you know, that are costing 10, 20, you know, sometimes more millions of dollars um, that don't reap the benefits as we're seeing. Focus on the tactical use cases, typically less than a million dollars, typically less than 20 people on the project team that are able to, in three to four months, deliver value back to the business. Build on that success, go to the next project, go to the next project, go to the next project until you find sustainability in your ability to uh, move into an excellent state that's going to return the most value back to the business. That's what it's all about.